your leftovers are someone else's treasure. Your treasure. So yeah. to be mindful that you can always find a home for something in the garbage yeah. can is not the answer. You know, I had donated my time to other charities, but I didn't really feel great about the quality of food that they were serving. It seemed like they were just getting rid of stuff that nobody else wanted to eat. And I just, it just it didn't feel right to me. Um, and I, I thought we could do it better. We could do it plant-based in a way that is more sustainable for our environment and would have a higher health benefit for the people that we were serving. For one, it's full of fiber, so it's going to be satiating, and there's a lot of really nutritionally dense ingredients in the food that we're serving, so it's like you've been really depleted for a long time, then you're going to get a lot of nourishment. Also, you know, there's really no reason for there to be people starving. We have plenty of food, and we're just not allocating it properly. We're using all the produce to feed the cattle, whereas really, if we went plant-based, then everybody would be fed, and we could solve the hunger crisis. And it's much better for the environment, right? Yeah. So like 40 billion tons of food in this country alone get thrown in the trash every year. Mm -hmm. And when you think about that, that's a lot, 40 billion, it's, it's yeah. So we like to upcycle and recycle some food that would have otherwise been thrown in the trash. This food is perfect, um, you know, but the mainstream grocery standards is that everything has to be uniform. Like all the cucumbers have to be perfectly straight, no weird dots. So. If anything has any slight imperfections, it's not going to be chosen by these mainstream grocers and oftentimes ends up getting thrown away even though it, there's, it's perfect food, there's nothing wrong with it. We swoop in, we rescue what we can, and then we purchase the rest to create these well-rounded meals. It's about $5 a meal that right now, and that includes the eco-friendly packaging. They get a meal with a side. It's the eco-friendly forks. It's the water. And then they always get uh, a piece of, or two of fruit. Um, so yeah, we're doing it for about five dollars a meal right now. When Bear was little, he so he's always been so connected to people without homes. He walks right when he was like three. He'd walk right over to someone and just get up in their face and talk to them and be <laughs> touching and saying stuff. And it just Aww. and always asking how can we help and what can we do. I think it's a natural natural response. instinct and yeah. then we sort of as we get older harden ourselves right. to that this is reality and this is how we have to accept. Right. Because there's so many horrible realities that we have to accept. Yes. As adults. But yeah. the innocent child right. goes not, this is wrong. This can't person. Be. Yeah. Person, you can help. Yeah. Can help you? yeah. And it's really yeah. beautiful. I love that. Yeah. Pete Bear also asked me when I was when he was very little, he said, Mommy, can you please buy um, some bars to keep in the car so we can feed people? Aww. And so we have a full thing of bars to hand out. To Bear. Yeah. Bear, how are you the best? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We have themarthaproject.org is our website, okay. and also the Martha Project LA on Instagram. You can follow those accounts. Um, on the website, you can sign up for a newsletter. You can fill out a sheet to become a volunteer for the next one, and there's also an opportunity to donate. It talks more about the project. It shows the meals that we've served and some video footage of like past events, so people can kind of get a feel for like what we're doing. And I think we just need to amplify this because I feel like it's contagious, yeah. you know? Because it's it is easy, and I even when I started this project, it was so easy to get overwhelmed with all the heaviness and the darkness and, and then you feel like, oh my gosh, there's like thousands and thousands of people in the city and we're doing 300 meals. Like, you know, you feel sometimes like you're just putting a band-aid where there's a gashing wound that needs a surgery. And in a way you are, but energetically you're not. Mm -hmm. You know, you're shining your light and then that is creating a ripple effect that hopefully we encourage other people to kind of shine where they're at yeah. and do their part. And, it, and, and the truth is, is that if every single individual did what they could to just help out a little bit or to be a little bit more conscious or make the shift in some sort of conscious way, we would be in great shape.